Okay, how is everybody doing here? I've got a new video that's uh, mostly going to be covering Nietzsche's response to the cookie loaf situation. And, um, spoiler alert, I don't think it's ideal. I've covered this shortly before. But he is just trying to, uh, excuse all the wrong stuff he has done in the past and all of the fraudulent, uh, lying and just being a bad person in general by claiming that cookie loaf assaulted me, cookie loaf a bad person, so that makes me, uh, completely free of any uh, fault, and I'm a, a saint. Uh, but before I get into the reaction to some of his YouTube videos, YouTube shorts, really uh, hours worth of content uh, combined, um, I am going to be looking at his account here, which is still Diamond1, and he's just not doing too well for a one trick, so I just wanted to show you that, that Nisa's still struggling, and um, he's not doing too hot, okay, but we've got some other stuff to get into, of course, uh, with the Cookie Lol drama. And again, I'm not trying to excuse what Cookie Lol's done here, okay? Uh, don't get it twisted. But what I wanted to get into here, mainly, is uh, Nietzsche's videos on Cookie Lol. Um, and obviously, Cookie Lol, you can expose him, right? Like, or talk about him. Um, I do think it's a little bit hypocritical of Nietzsche, because he always talks about, like, no one expected his content meta around Lol and stuff. Talking about all the people reacting to him and all the bad stuff he's done, because Nice obviously fake Challenger and did a lot of other bad stuff. Um, Nice was very critical of all of that, and people benefiting off of that, or people just doing it in general. But now Nice is really milking the cookie law situation, so it's a little bit hypocritical, but um, let's just see what he says here. Same bad person. People like getting kicked out of their homes, he wasn't paying them, dude. <laughs> Girl says he's 13, he's like, let me talk about hanging out with you. Again, that one he denies, and I don't know if it's confirmed, but, you know, you can say that, whatever. Not good. He was in a therapy chat group trying to talk to young girls on voice comms. Bro, that's bad person behavior. It's too many strikes. In baseball, you would have been out a long time ago, bro. Okay, so aside from Nisa saying, like, the unconfirmed allegations that he denies, it's not that bad, right? You can make one short calling out Cookie Lol. Um, I mean, your Nisa, your main content's coaching, right? And, um, it's, it's fine for him to do this, but then when you look at the comments here, most of them are saying stuff like, Oh my god, how the turntables have turned, you know? Uh, to quote Michael Scott, at least Nice didn't do anything bad, which is incorrect here, as his comment claims. Nice has done bad stuff. He's pretty much scams everyone um, by lying about his credentials, by lying about everything, um, by providing a subpar coaching project, to be honest, especially because he, um, he claims to be a challenger and he's not, so he doesn't have the skills of a challenger. Um, and he, he just also says horrible stuff and isn't a good person, uh, in general, for, uh, by the way he acts, but... um. Yeah, now and, and now people are saying Cookie really milked the Nice controversy. Now it's Nice's turn, so they blame Cookie for doing this thing. And now when Nice does it, they praise him. And um, people are saying Nice's redemption arc continues. How is this a redemption arc? How is him calling out some random guy a redemption for him? Uh, that makes literally no sense. Uh, and it's just like what? Uh, and other people are saying, uh, just remember, Cookie was one of the people who benefited the most out of flaming Nice. So people are always uh, here just saying that, uh, oh, it's okay for Nice to flame him, which I guess it, it is a little bit, right? But it does not redeem Nice, as a lot of these comments are also trying to imply uh, at all. And it's not, it, this is far from the only short uh, Nice made. Also, he made a very long video I'm going to get into after this, but Cookie he made other ones of uh, him talking about Cookie All. And he says, Cookie All is gross with this goblet emoji here. Obviously, trying to uh, just. You know, insult him, which I guess you can do a little bit, but at this point, he's just milking it more than Cookie Lull did, almost. Occasions flirted with sexualized women as young as 13? How old are you? He he, I'm almost 17. Holy fuck, hello, little sister. Continued conversation of telling X to get a butt plug once she's 18. So again, this is just pretty much the same uh, thing, but he just goes into the things here. And um, again, people are saying that uh, Nice is the most sane YouTuber and streamer and everything like that, and... Um, Everyone, people are talking about how he roasted you, and now um, it, he proves he's untrustworthy. Um, like, yeah, he's an untrustworthy person, but that doesn't mean that uh, Cookie isn't right about Nice, even if he's a bad person in some other ways. And Nice clearly saw this, this really a response, and so he continues to make more shorts about it. This is another one here. Um, making a personal message to Cookie Law here. Let's see what his personal message is. Age document of accusations of underage grooming, not paying people, just making your community uncomfortable, promising stuff that you cannot deliver. As a niece coach guy, I have a responsibility to say, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. As Mark, as Mark, when I see this document. Okay, then why doesn't Cookie Law have the responsibility to call you out, niece? You got so upset when he called you out um, when you were lying about your challenger when you were uh, providing some part coaching. So I think that Cookie Law had an obligation to call you out as a coach himself. Um, if you feel that you have an obligation to call Cookie out for something that's not even related to his coaching, then I think that it's fair for Cookie to call you out when it's something related to your coaching, okay? 
commitment. And I choose to spend my entire morning going through the entire thing to show my fans exactly how evil and terrible you are step by step. Is this really where we should be going, though? I don't want to do stuff like this. You, you don't want to do stuff like this. Nice, you're so happy. You were literally, like, laughing in all of your videos. You clearly uh, do not do uh, take great pleasure in Cookie Lowell's demise, okay? Um, and it's because you are upset at him personally and um, do not like him personally. Again, you're trying to do this to discredit Cookie Lowell, a fairly prominent, although he's not the main voice, calling out against Nice. Um, and Nice, it's just, it's just, it's just like clearly like you're mad at him personally, and then you're doing this and seeing that people are defending you and saying, oh, Nice is redeeming himself, Nice's redemption arc continues, blah, 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 blah. Um, so you, you see that this is a great opportunity for personal gain, and it's very hypocritical when this is what Cookie Lull did, and you're like, oh, I have a responsibility to talk about Cookie Lull. Well, then didn't Cookie Lull have a responsibility to talk about you, Nice? Because, Nice, you have done bad stuff, no matter if you refuse to uh, deny it. At least Cookie Lull has accepted it for the most part. But we've also got a uh, video here that is an hour long, actually. It's not, it's not 40 minutes. It's, never mind, it's an hour long. I've not watched all of it. I watched like, the intro of it. I, I mean, I know what's going to be in it, right? Uh, but let's just click on this. <clears throat> let's get serious here for a second. So I'm thinking very delicately. Let me pause the music here because this is serious. I'm, I'm going to try to be as honest and as transparent uh, with my intent because I think that... Okay, and if he's being transparent and honest here, he's going to say that his intent is to... Um, bolster his uh his community support of him and bolster his views and uh, try to discredit cookie lol for calling out niece in this space a lot of content creators are kind of snaky and kind of terrible again niece is the most snaky and most terrible person there is out there um he's he's uh calling out and milking cookie lol even more than cookie lol milked niece um he is uh He's done stuff like with like Ninja, uh, trying to uh, snake Ninja, who he called his personal friend after Ninja didn't uh, congratulate him uh, excessively on stream. So Nisa's nice uh, snaked massive streamers before. He's tried to snake everyone. People we would call friends, such as Ninja, is just one example. But really, he, he he's not he's not any better. He's probably worse than almost everyone else when it comes to this uh, so-called snaking here. And I am trying to tread very, very like lightly. Okay, I looked at your uh, shorts, Nisa, and you don't seem to be treading very lightly, but yeah, whatever. About this, because on the one end, what we're about to go through today is pretty pretty awful. On the internet, and especially in League, there has become this uh, culture around literally slandering people. Okay, Nisa, no one slandered you. Literally no one slandered you because you did fake challenger. Um, I don't know what Nisa is talking about. Nisa seems people to slander him. Literally almost no one slanders Nisa. Um, so <laughs> he's completely wrong here. Uh, and Nisa is, again, a bigger stake than anyone, and he's never been slandered. Almost ever. I mean, honestly, there's no other way to put... And Nisa has, Nisa has threatened to sue people before, such as Tarzan. Obviously, he has uh, not been able to... Uh, go through with that because obviously that it will, he would be laughed out of court, but uh, it's never it's never worked. Um, I have talked at length about how I have been harassed. Countless examples of people putting again Nisa's harassment, so-called harassment, is that is it's not it's not uh, necessarily all uh, bad. Okay, a lot of it is deserved when you don't ever take responsibility for all of the lies you have done, for the scamming you have done. Yeah, videos. Running my coaching and saying that I'm a bad coach. Yeah, I think you are a pretty bad coach. Cap. Nah, guys, that's the thing, right? Nice actually charges you three hundred fifty dollars for a dog shit. Again, I think it's valid for Cookie Lull to say that when he lies and provides bad coaching and he has proof of that. Coaching session. Saying I'm a bad person. Then he's a fraud, right? I've he is a fraud. He's just by definition a fraud when he lies about his challenger and bases his um, uh, coaching off of that. Never actually. I honestly do not believe that anybody has. Hanked and he still lies about stuff. Vitriol and hate as I have, mainly because you, see, you tanked it because of all you have done, and it's deserved. Because I run a coaching business, and that's the main reason. It's because you run a, a coaching business based off of scams. There are plenty of other people who run coaching businesses, including Cookie Lowe, and he did not face hate until now. Until my press was, point you know, exposed, was of kind of put out, like you were exposed. Through... Nice was exposed, just like Cookie Lowe. Even if Nice wasn't as quite as bad as Cookie Lowe's exposure, um, obviously Nice was exposed for his fake challenger. And for a while, people thought he was actually Challenger NA, but it was he was exposed. Um, and again, it's, it's the same thing. Once you get exposed, you get hate, and the same thing's going to happen to Cookie Lull, but even worse. Okay, Cookie Lull's going to get more hate than Nisa's going to, most likely. News articles, people 
pretty much just let me do my thing. Um, and then there just became... Yeah, because no one knew you were a fake challenger. That is the um, main thing about it. But obviously there is the... Uh, people did not look into how bad your coaching was or your bad business practices uh, otherwise before that too. In claims about I'd never played high elo and this and that and everything. Um, but I digress. It's not about me, but I'm bringing this up because... in You're bringing this up because you're trying to... Um, uh, discarded everyone who hates on you, clearly. This particular individual's case, th there's multiple individuals that have been pretty terrible, but this particular guy was was particularly notable uh, to me. Uh, goes by the name of Cookie Law, for those who don't know. You know, and- Okay, so now he's talking about, like, again, Nice is literally starting this video with how what Cookie Law said to him, and that clearly shows his motivations. He's, it's just clearly showing his motivations to, um, uh, say, oh, Cookie Law was terrible to me, Cookie Law was a terrible person, um, uh, Cookie Law was wrong about me because he's untrustworthy. That's, like, obviously flawed logic, um, just because Cookie Law did some um, bad things that are unrelated, it doesn't mean he's wrong about you, um, and he's just trying to say, oh, I'm transparent about my, uh, motives here, oh, I'm not doing bad things, but then, um, he's clearly just trying to, uh, try to make his audience, uh, view him as a good guy and, uh, view all the criticism of him as false, um, I mean, it's just really clear. He, he said he was trying to be transparent about his uh, motives, but again, like, it's, it's obvious that his motives are um, very much for personal gain and very much for his ego's uh, sake. I, and I have said, uh, I've said to people, I've said on stream, I've said, you know, this guy's not a bad coach, but let me show you my introduction to Cookie Law. This is basically what I saw. Let me, right here. My, this was my introduction to this guy's content. Somebody linked me and said, this guy is better than you. My $70 coaching is better than Nisa's $350 coaching. And I clicked on it and I was like, this is kind of, you know, this is kind of whatever. And then in that same day, this particular guy showed up on my YouTube shorts. He showed up on TikTok. He showed up everywhere. And he was essentially just hating. Okay, I don't think uh, there's anything wrong with hating on a scam artist. Um, and he never even calls your coaching bad, even in that title saying it's better than he says $350 coaching. But I think it's fair for him to say my $70 coaching is better than he says $350 coaching. Because I actually believe it is better than he says $350 coaching. Um, he is a legitimately, uh, you know, multi-season, uh, like, EUS challenger player. And uh, he uh, he just knows what he's doing. And he's here. He, he does not know what he's doing. He has shoddy business practices. Um and again, I think it is a little bit hating for uh, trying to get, you know, a thumbnail here. But it's not harassment, and it's nothing that bad. And I don't know why Nisa's so upset about it, or why he's bringing it up at the beginning of this video. Oh, it's completely unrelated to what Cookie's done now. I mean, he's just flaming my coaching, saying that I didn't know how to coach ADC. For those who don't know, coaching in League of Legends yeah, is Yeah, you're like an iron ADC player, by the way. You could be coaching a Nisa's, Nisa's legitimately iron ADC. I will... I'm serious about Except, that. And you could tell somebody to do something that's absolutely dumb with the pure intention of just getting them out of their comfort zone and taking risks. Um, you could have a situation where there's three plays that you can make. Any of them are right. You may have an opinion, but a different opinion of the play, you know, it may also be right, may also work. And this particular guy started showing up everywhere and basically just hating. And he's not the only one that's done it, but again, he's one of the more notable ones. To put into perspective, how annoying this particular individual was with the slander, the hate. Yeah, I don't know how it's slander. Um, I would I would argue that he's saying this guy's slandering Nisa is slander because I don't think that Cookie Law was ever slandered or uh, lied to a defame Nisa's character. That's pretty much the definition of slander ever, as far as I'm aware. So Nisa saying the Cookie Law slander is actually a uh, slander, by the way. Um, so it's, it's ironically enough, Nisa is the one uh, committing slander here, not Cookie. Hate content and all that stuff. I went to his video and I wrote, uh, let me pull it up. I wrote a comment as niece and I said, I'll read it for you just so you guys can see it. If you were truly, if it was truly, and that was talking about if his coaching is truly better than mine, you would stop making content off my videos and do it yourself. You'd have years to do the same. You've made more videos about me and my work than proving your own competency by being a leader and promoting your own business with your own clients. I've seen your coaching and I don't think it's that bad. 
shame that you have to deprive your own community of positive content from your own intellectual experiences rather than try to attack me, but that's fine. It's very sad, but in time, the community will look back on this, and I will personally never let them forget this chapter where a collection of jealous, lazy, and unfulfilled individuals made it their daily exercise. Okay, and so the, by the way, the title of this short here is I Predicted This Sort Of, and again, I don't know how this is predicting it, but let's continue on. Um, obviously, I'm going to respond to this after he's done talking on this uh, little tirade here, but... He did not predict Kokulol's situation. I've been trying to destroy my work. I wish you the best, niece. This was five. Okay, so what uh, niece says here pretty much is that uh, you're jealous, you're a loser, you're uh, calling me out for no reason. And I think uh, Kokulol was calling niece out for a reason because he's a bad coach because he lies by his challenger. Um, but I also have to add that um, the co video series uh, Kokulol made about niece makes sense. It's because niece is the most prominent coach with the uh, biggest name. It's like saying... Proving I'm better than Faker at the game, okay? That's what Nisha's cookie, uh, what Cookie's uh, series about, oh, proving I'm better than Nisha uh, with cheaper coaching. It, it's like saying, oh, I'm better than Faker, I'm better than the most famous pro. Because, well, Nisha isn't the best coach, he's the most prominent one out there. And so it's pretty much, um, it makes sense that he is saying he's better than the most prominent coach out there. Um, tons of people would do that. People would make videos about saying, oh, I'm better than the most prominent player or whatever. I don't think it's necessarily hating it. That's what happens when you become the most prominent lol coach, uh, especially when you become the most prominent lol coach off of uh, fraudulent reasons and aren't actually the best lol coach despite being the uh, most prominent. And again, uh, this is not Nice predicting um, the Cookie situation because no one's looking back on Cookie hating on Nice as negatively. Uh, they're looking back on the things Cookie has done um, in Discord and other areas um, negatively, so it's completely different. Five months ago. I posted this. Do you know why I posted this? Because I knew, I knew that this person being so detestable, so disgusting. <laughs> Again, he's just slandering, or not slandering, he's, um, He's insulting Cookie Lull here, okay? More than Cookie, more uh, deeply than Cookie Lull has ever insulted Nice. And again, I think it's a little bit more deserved for Cookie Lull. But, um, Again, Nice has literally slandered Cookie Lull in this video by claiming that Cookie Lull slandered him. He's insulted Cookie Lull, um, and he's pretty much stooped down to arguably a lower level than Cookie Lull. Um, in this in this video thing in his behavior so unprofessional in his non-stop so unprofessional again he's he's never um uh lied about Eunice he's never been that um you know, like insulting to on uh, a, a hateful level like it's, it's just not it's not that bad Nice you're such a wimp you're so thin-skinned slander just again it's not slander and Nice you think it is it's slander. of trying to hurt somebody else in order to grow themselves this he's really wasn't thing. and it's it's deserved too if well, he was why do I bring this up and pause before I proceed with this part trigger warning we're about to go through all right so now he just continues to go through uh cookie Lull's video but the thing is, when Nice has the first five minutes talking about how bad Cookie Lull is, um, how Cookie Lull is proved wrong, how Cookie Lull is a bad person, about how Cookie Lull supposedly lied about Nice, all of this, which Nice lied about parts of, um, is it's completely, uh, it's just a horrible thing to, for Nice to say, and it proves his intentions of this video. It's to make himself look like a saint and make Cookie Lull look like a demon. Um, and again, I, I don't think there's anything wrong necessarily with making Cookie Lull make like a demon, but when you're trying, Nice is doing, by definition, hurting someone else to lift himself up, and he's doing it in a worse way, arguably, than Cookie Lull did to Nice. and um, he said a lot worse things. Uh, he's lied about uh, Cookie Lull, despite when Cookie Lull never lied about Nice. and um, it, it's just clear what his motivations are, and it's actually working, sadly enough, as I have showed in the comments of the YouTube shorts. Um, it's really disgusting that people are saying stuff like Nice redemption arc, when it's not a redemption arc. But I'm going to end the video on uh, this note here. Uh, hope you all enjoyed, and um, leave your thoughts down in the comments. I'll see you all in the next video.